Oh, hey guys. My name is Destrian. It is that time of the month again. Your period? What? No. It's time for another monthly favorites video. And also, my period was last week, so. Also, sadly, I missed uh, my July monthly favorite video, so I'll probably just include all of my July favorites into this video. Splendid. Awesome. Splendsome. It's a mix between splendid and awesome. Just made it up. So without further ado, here are my July and August favorites. Music! So uh, a lot of you guys know that I really don't listen to a lot of normal music. Yeah, no. Like, once I actually caught myself listening to Native American ritual chanting music on my iPod, I have no idea how it got there, but I was like... <laughs> Let's be honest, I was more like... But actually in July I found probably the closest thing to like normal music that I would ever listen to And uh, that was an artist that I found called Lights in Motion And uh, basically what Lights in Motion is is just like post-rock music without any lyrics But uh, it's really really good and uh, if you guys haven't checked them out I highly recommend you do Um, and then in August, I listened to a lot of Pogo's new album that he came out with called Kindred Shadow. And all the songs on that album are just so fucking good. I think probably my favorite one on there is probably No Worries. The perfect music to neck dance to. But yeah, as always, make sure to check out Pogo's music because he is a fucking genius and uh, I'm sure you guys will like it. Movies! Holy fuck! Okay, so so last month I just watched like way too many movies and like rewatched some of my old favorite movies. Uh, one of them being American Psycho. Really amazing movie if you haven't seen it. Gotta go return some videotapes. I have to return some videotapes. I uh, also watched my favorite foreign film of all time called The Man From Nowhere. And I won't give any of the plot away of that movie, but holy shit, man, that movie is just not delicate to your feels. You're sitting there at the end like... <laughs> So yeah, definitely check out that movie if you like movies that make you cry. Uh, and then lastly, I watched my favorite sports movie of all time, which is Goon. And I really don't consider Goon to be a sports movie, it's more like a comedy that just so happens to be about sports. But yeah, really good movie, and uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, I highly recommend you do. I think I've suggested this movie to like 16 people and only one of them didn't like it, so... Yeah, and also that one person was like 50 years old, and uh, there's a lot of cussing and violence in this movie, so he's probably like, I don't like it! But uh, if you're not a 50 year old man, which I'm hoping you're not because you're watching my videos and that would be weird then you'd probably really like it also it's on Netflix so if you're ever just like really hella bored just remember that that movie exists game so in July Nathan and I played uh, Ocarina of Time which is my second favorite game of all time following Banjo-Tooie and it's just so funny playing through those games again because the graphics are just so fucking horrible but when I was a kid it was like these games are so realistic and now I'm like what the fuck is this? Then Nathan and I actually started streaming Twilight Princess, which is my third favorite game of all time. Um, and actually we're right in the middle of streaming it right now, so if you guys haven't watched any of our streams, make sure to check the links in the description. It is twitch.tv slash deskpones1. You'll have a real spend some time, I promise. Also in August, a ton of new games came out. Uh, so there was Rare Replay, which is like all of basically the games from my childhood compiled into one fucking mega game. Uh, then Dishonored, the definitive edition that was released, which is basically just a remaster of Dishonored for the Xbox. Xbox One and PS4. And then, of course, the Grand Tournament was released last month, which is the new uh, expansion on Hearthstone. I actually haven't played a lot of that yet, but I'm kind of just now getting back into streaming Hearthstone. So, again, if you haven't checked out my Twitch channel, make sure to do that. Link in the description. Link in the description, dude. What am I doing? TV series. Oh my god. So, uh, last month I actually got into this show called Parks and Recreation, which uh, one of you guys actually suggested that I watch. And at first I was watching it and I was like, what the fuck is this show? And then I want to say like five episodes later, I just could not stop watching it. And I don't even know why, like I still don't know why that show is so good. It just is. But you know, here I am a couple weeks later and I've already seen all seven seasons twice. I actually had enough time to watch it a third time, but I stopped for a week and watched Animorphs. By the way, Animorphs is a great show. And by great, I mean probably one of the worst things you'll ever watch in your life, but in the best way possible. It's another one of those shows where at first you're watching it and you're like, why am I watching this? Then a few episodes later, somehow you've ordered Animorphs merchandise and you're sitting there like No, don't go in there! It's Mr. 3! No, Jake! The Yurks! They're in there! Ah! And 
finally, the best thing. So in July, probably the best thing was uh, seeing Death Cab for Cutie live with Nathan. And if some of you guys don't know, Death Cab for Cutie is actually like my favorite band of all time. So like I said, I don't really listen to a lot of bands, but Death Cab for Cutie is definitely my favorite band of all time. And really without Death Cab for Cutie and the Postal Service and just everything that Ben Gibbard does, my album probably would have never been made because I never would have wanted to start singing. Also, might have bought this shirt from the concert. Definitely did not steal it from a child who was trying to run away from me. Uh, no, that was, that was not me. That was, uh, some other guy named Estuary. And then in August, probably my favorite thing of that whole month was uh, Nathan came down again. I think he comes down every fucking month. You guys should probably be used to it by now. But in August, it was just so fun uh, having Nathan there and uh, kind of just meeting new people because we had a couple of meetups again and uh, also met a few new friends, which for me is a big deal because I don't ever have friends. And uh, yeah, so it was just kind of cool to, you know, have friends and they showed me around different parts of Portland and shit that I haven't seen. And we uh, injected some meth into our veins and hailed Satan. It was awesome. God, such great memories. But anyway, Anyways, those were my July and August favorites. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to give it a like and also favorite it if you really liked it. Honestly, I hated it. Well, fuck you, man. Jeez, someone's on their period. I told you that was last week. Also, guys, make sure to leave in the comments down below some of your favorite things from July and August, and I'll check those out. Hope you guys have a splendid day. I will see you next time, and fair winds.